Do you want to show the number block guy? <laughs> no! Here, you put him down for number one. Can you get the number one? Uh-huh, there's one tree. Hello, everybody. So today we are going to talk math. I have something that I recently bought kind of like on an accident, but it turned out to be like amazing. And so first of all, when you're teaching math to some of these kiddos, hands on. It needs to be hands on. It needs to be super, super simple. It needs to be straightforward. It's not pen on paper all the time. It's straight to the point and fun. It has to be fun. That's the key is it has to be fun. So I know that my daughter really likes this show. Number blocks, right, okay. Um, it does take place in England and sometimes I worry that the English accent is going to be difficult for her and it doesn't seem to be a problem currently. <laughs> and I don't think it will either because it is good to train our ears to recognize different accents and words in different accents. So in a sense it is kind of good for her. But besides all of that, okay, Number of Blocks is a great show that teaches counting and you can find them up on you. That's where we get ours is we find them up on YouTube. I'm sure there's another streaming service. I'll research it and put it in the description box below where you can find it with streaming service. But this is, it's from Hand to Mind. That's the group that puts it together. And it is, I thought it was just going to be like the little stick figures that she can play with and whatever. No, it's a whole entire activity set. <laughs> and we have been going through this recently. So let me just kind of open it up and show you what we've got in it. So first of all, we have an activity pack. So this is where my eyes went, what? Okay, because, all right, so this is going to give you step-by-step -step instructions and each of these activities coordinates with each of their episodes. There are these uh, placemat cards and this is where you get all the activities from. So here's activity one and then here's activity two. So each of these front and back card is a different activity. All right, next we have these cards right here that go with each and every one of the number block characters. So here's zero, this is three, one and two is back here. And it can show you how to connect them. So even with your child, what you can do is you can pull out the number one and you can find the number block one and create it. And then they have the actual number blocks, which, well, actually, I'm just gonna lift this up and show you, which are basically math link cubes, uh, which you can use this beyond all of the activities that are in this book because uh, math link cubes I've used with my kids through seventh grade. In fact, I still pull them out to play little, ac there's so many games you can play with these actually. I should do a video on all the fun games that you can actually play, even with uh, teenagers. Logic games. We're really into the logic games right now. Okay, so here's the cool thing too. I'm just gonna show you this really quick. On these blocks, if you look closely, there's not only, you know, one, two, three, four, five, but there's different shapes on these blocks. And that's where you can get the different types of games that you can play beyond this um, activity pack that they provided. Okay, so let's get back to wh what we can do with this cool box, right? So you wanna make the number one guy. So I'm gonna pull out the number one. And then he has a faceplate that you can put right, it snaps right in the front. And you actually, as you go, you can kind of take the stickers and attach them because it does come with a bag of faceplates. So when we did number two, he looks like this. He has a, a plate and then his plate with a sticker that just snap right on and they come off and on as much as you want. Like they don't stay there forever. So it's nice. And then for the number three guy, I know he's in here. Here he is, right? And these come off. So now not only is she playing with math, like she's literally playing with math <laughs> because these are like little characters that can talk to each other. These are cool too because they come with little numbers that you can just stick right on the top like this, right? There's three, you can compare sizes, three is bigger than two, they go through that in the activity pack as well. Okay, so let me just kind of walk you through some of this. So what we do, like I said before, you can create the characters 
just by going through these different activity cards. On the back of these activity cards, we have two minus one equals one. So you can reenact this activity card by saying, you know, two, here's two guy, I'm gonna cut him in half. There's one and one matches this guy. Okay, so you can play these games, make a big deal about it. It's cool because it's a TV show and it's like mom's playing with me, I'll pretend play. So you can, you can even engage some of that pretend play into it. And actually Naomi's older sister watches the TV show with her every once in a while. So they do, they'll walk up with these and I'm totally cool with this and I encourage this tremendously, but they'll have the little guys walk up to each other and they'll be like, Hey, how are you doing? I'm doing fine. How are you? And they'll like act it out. Right. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a YouTube channel on having these guys act it out together. I have not found one yet, neither have my kids, but they do have the TV shows. And I'm not gonna make that YouTube channel, guys. I'm not gonna do it. You can, though, if you want to. So you could do that with those cards. Okay, here's the activity cards. When I go through this, I go to activity one. That is the red, that's the first one that you wanna touch on. And it is red on the card in the upper corner. And it basically says, you know, Episode one, another one, two. There is an episode, you can YouTube it and find it. <laughs> and then it says skills counting to one. Two is more than one, counting to two. You will need two number block ones and one number block two. And so then you'll create your little guys, right? Two, number one, and um, one, two. And then with this, it says that you will look at the left-hand side of the card. What can you see? One sun, bee, ant, whole tree, a bird, whale. Complete the ob uh, Compare the objects, paying attention to their size. Note that the whale and tree are much bigger than the rest, yet their quantity, one, is still the same. And you place the number block one on the red square and discuss how she might feel being all alone, because number one has feelings too. Not in real life though. So number two, it says, now look at the right hand side of the card, identify the objects. A tandem bike, shoes, socks, tennis rackets. Uh, observe there's two of them. They are in a pair, so you learn the vocabulary word pair. Know that the tandem bike, this is a term that seats that has two seats and a wheel. So even though it's one, it has one, two. Two people can ride on it. Now, you move number block one over to the bottom orange space. What do you notice? Can one ride the tandem bike or play tennis alone? No, she needs a friend. Find another one. So you fit both of them on there. Both this and I only have two hands, but you get the idea. You fit both of them on there. You count one, two. What do they make? You swap out number two block. So it's explore how one and one combine to make two. They are equivalent in value. Two can be separated into one and another one, and this is known as parting. Now that one and two are placed on the card, number block one will no longer be lonely and she has a new friend. Okay, that's just an example of one activity. And how, I mean, you can expand this activity even more. We actually spent a good 45 minutes doing this activity because we talked about all those things. We talked about the whale and she was so excited because she loves the TV show and she's learning math. So we're into learning math like crazy right now. We also have done number two and a couple others. So when I look at these exercises, activities, you've got one through five that are the circles that match with the circle cards. Then you have one through five that are red that will match with the oval cards, and they're a little bit more difficult. Then you have the triangle activity one, which talks about zero, and then you move into the orange triangle cards, right? So you see it increases in difficulty, and then ends with the square cards, which is gonna be more complex. So there are way more than 10 activities. I had to share that with you because I was really, really excited about getting this, and math has always been such a struggle for Naomi because I'm just sick of counting things all the time and having her rewrite the numbers and matching because we have a couple matching games and you know we play a lot of games. I think game schooling is such a way to go when it comes to homeschooling a child with a disability because they especially with Down syndrome because all I want to do is make a game out of everything so game schooling is kind of where we're headed with her right now. 
we do so happy to learn as well too but they don't go into math as wonderfully as this does we also do watch the tv show after we do this activity or before we do the activity you know depending upon what's going on in our lives so i am going to put the link to this in the description box below because i did get it from amazon and i wanted to share that with you it was a total fluke that i found it but it has been amazing and it is really becoming part of our core math curriculum for her so yeah, that's basically it. Um, let me know if you have any questions in the comment section down below, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!